हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन बैच कल्चर फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस वट इज बैच कल्चर फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज क्लोज कल्चर सिस्टम इन द बिगनिंग द न्यूट्रिय एंड अदर एडिटिव आर एडेड इन द रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट देर इज नो रिफिल ऑफ न्यूट्रिय वंस द फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस हैज स्टार्टड एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज रिकवर्ड एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रोसेस once the process is completed then the fermentation vessel is cleaned properly and sterilized for the second batch process in the beginning microorganisms grow at a rapid rate due to the availability of excess nutrients this picture shows you the different phases of growth in batch lag phase exponential phase deceleration phase and the stationary phase the growth characteristics in lag phase in lag phase there is no increase in the number of cells but cell weight may change microorganisms are under adaptation to their new environment change in the ph of medium increased nutrient supply decreased growth inhibition some essential cofactors diffuse out of cell enzymes of primary metabolism produced to attend the, to the new conditions in commercial production process the duration of lag phase should be as short as possible this can be achieved by using an appropriate inoculum growth characteristics during log phase by the end of lag phase and in the beginning of log phase the cells have adapted to the new condition of growth cell doubles per unit time which can be expressed quantitatively growth rate remains constant and generation time remains minimum primary metabolites essential for growth are produced during this phase the rate of increase in biomass is correlated with the specific growth rate that is mu and the biomass concentration x which is expressed gram per liter growth characteristics during stationary phase due to the metabolism of substrate and formation of toxic substances growth slow down or many times stops completely biomass increases gradually or may remain constant due to cell lysis carbohydrates and proteins are released which may serve as a source of energy for the slow growth of the survivor metabolites formed during the stationary phase which is also known as secondary metabolites are very important as far as its commercial production and applications are concerned growth characteristics during death phase nutrients exhausted and hence there is no availability of source of energy for growth the cell die at an exponential rate in commercial process the fermentation is usually terminated at the end of log phase or before the death phase begins mathematical expression of batch culture during the exponential phase the growth rate of cells gradually increases and the cells grow constantly at a maximum rate the exponential phase can be explained by the following equation on integration of equation 1 we get this equation that and we generally express this equations in the natural log and after converting it into the natural log this is the equation derived a plot of the concentration of biomass versus time should in a straight line and the slope of which would equal mu this figure shows the effect of initial substrate concentration on the biomass concentration in batch culture at the start of stationary phase as the nutrients are in excess during the exponential phase the organisms are growing at its maximum specific growth rate that is mu max for the existing condition it is easy to imagine the replication of single cell organisms which divide by binary fission during its exponential growth phase as reported by griffith in the year 1986 and peterson and alferman in the year 1993 the plant and the animal cell in suspension culture also behave similarly to the unicellular microorganisms on the other hand it's very difficult to understand the apical growth showing mycelial 
organisms also grow exponentially. This is how the growth occurs in the badge culture. Thank you.